Papa Noel is a Christmas dress tradition right here in Louisiana, but some of those bonfires are attractions themselves. One well-known group of builders created a 70-foot gator to set on fire this year. Photojournalist Eric Waldrop shows us how it's bringing people together. Oh man, that thing's crazy, man. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. I think it's pretty cool because I've never seen it before. Blood, Sweat, and Bonfires, which is our group, started doing unique bonfires for the last 10 years. My in laws come every year and they're always talking about how awesome it is, so we finally came, finally made it. We love it. I, we had to come from out of uh, Prairieville to come and check it out. Last year we did a pelican. The year before that, they did a snapping turtle. And the turtle sick, sick his head out. I never saw an alligator in my whole entire life. The best one ever. Who comes up with these kind of things? It's it's amazing. Our total time frame was about four weeks from start to finish. <laughs> Things huge. It's cool. It's big. This is definitely the biggest one we've ever done. The feet. I love the I love the feet. It looks like nails. It's just so amazing. So I brought my grandchildren to come and enjoy, take some pictures. It's so unique. There's no place else in the country that you can see something like this. It's a work of art, huh? They wouldn't be Christmas without it. It brings people together from all over the place, and it's just such an amazing opportunity to celebrate Christmas in a different way. Take pride in everything that you do, and take pride in your hometown and always want to keep an old tradition alive. We want to grow up and get old and we want to come out and watch our kids build up here. Some people, they come out here for the first time and they've never seen anything like this in their life. So it, it's good to see everybody come out and have a good time. Good indeed. All right, if you want to check out the alligator bonfire, it is along the levee near the water tower in Garyville. Uh, the bonfires start at 7. That'll be tomorrow night.